10,000 years ago, income per capita was about $3 a day, average income per capita. And it stayed $3 a day for 10,000 years. And then something happened. That is, and during that period, by the way, the variation of income was almost non-existent. So inequality was zero. We had complete equality, and everybody was poor. Everybody made $3 a day. And then something happened. And wealth per capita, income per capita, on average, went like that. Like that. And at the same time, inequality went like that. Inequality is fantastic. Inequality is wonderful. Inequality is the sign that you are free. The only societies where you don't have inequality are unfree societies. The only societies when you don't have inequality are societies that use force on their people. Because the only way to make people equal is by force. My favorite example, my a simple example. Everybody know who Michael Jordan is? Famous basketball player, best basketball player ever. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, doesn't matter, right? How do you make me and Michael Jordan equal in basketball? I want to be equal to Michael Jordan in basketball. I think inequality is unfair in basketball. I want to be equal to him. How do you make us equal in basketball? I could train every day, all day, and never come close to Michael Jordan, right? So how do we make us equal? You break his legs. <laughs> but that's not going to make us equal. Because I'm really bad at basketball. You'd have to break his arms too. <laughs> but you laugh. But this is serious. I'm not kidding. That's what equality means. The only way to achieve equality is to break people's legs. What do you think taxes are? So I work hard. And every dollar I make, 50% is stolen from me. 50%. Half of my life, half of my working life, is taken from me. I'd rather you break my legs. It's less painful. 